Do you have temporomandibular disorder, also known as TMD? Are you confused about which medical professional to go to? Which treatment is best? Or have you been to many medical professionals and they all say different things? Watch this video to see what your patient journey should be and the key medical professionals that can be involved. To make sure you get all the correct information, all the medical professionals in this video have a special interest in TMD and they are all evidence-based. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Andrew Silotum. I'm a consultant maxillofacial surgeon in the East Midlands and specialise in temporomandibular disorder management. One of my other roles is as the NHS England and NICE advisor for the government in setting guidelines for temporomandibular joint management. One of the issues with that role is that there are thousands of papers on TMD management. The vast majority are just case reports or personal opinions and therefore there is a very limited amount of good quality research in this area. I've sifted through that research and written guidelines for NICE and for NHS England on the basic management of temporomandibular disorder. What that would involve usually is rest, anti-inflammatories applied topically over the joint and muscle massage and in addition a lower splint to wear over the teeth at night. The vast majority, probably 80% of people will get better with that and this treatment should be instigated by your dental practitioner prior to referring on to a more advanced service. Thank you. The temporomandibular joints are such a unique and fascinating pair of joints. At its surface is a ball and socket, but actually it has both a hinging and a sliding action with a very special and unique disc in between the ball and socket, which if you've ever had any clicking or popping, that's the disc jumping on and off. Taking a history from you is crucial to understanding you. We are going to delve into understanding what the causes or any timeline for when the pain started. When it comes to signs and symptoms of TMD, we're going to focus our questioning around three main elements. Pain, noises and movement. Pain, normally we will find that the pain is focused around just in front of the ear. And we want to know if it radiates anywhere else, such as the head or the neck. Assessing the TMJ starts with the muscles. During an examination, I'll palpate the muscles that grind and clench in order to determine whether the patient is grinding and clenching. When it comes to looking at the joint itself, I'll ask my patient to open and close. And there's two things I'm looking for. Firstly, I'm feeling for any clicking or popping in the joint itself. And secondly, I'm looking at the path of the mandible to see if it deviates. If the mandible deviates to a side, it's typically to the side that is affected. So one of the reasons you may get uh, jaw pain, facial muscle pain, shoulder pain, back ache, neck ache, is if there's a conflict between the position where the muscles would like to guide the jaw into a nice relaxed position and the teeth want to guide the jaw when they close together. This can also manifest in night clenching or grinding, otherwise known as bruxism. Some of the ways this can be alleviated is by wearing a muscle relaxation appliance over the upper teeth, which stops the teeth guiding the jaw into a conflicted position. We can also carry out some minor reshaping of the teeth, so they're not guiding the jaw once again into the incorrect position. Or we can reposition the teeth with some orthodontic treatment. And in conjunction with this, Physiotherapy to the facial muscles tends to help a lot as well. During an orthodontic assessment, your orthodontist will be examining the temporomandibular joint, the position of the teeth and the position of the jaws. Some patients that have prominent teeth will tend to slide their jaw forwards to mask the fact that the teeth stick out. This causes a strain in the muscles around the joint and can also cause clicking of the joint. 
If you are experiencing clicking or muscle tenderness, it's important that you mention this to your orthodontist. If you think you have a temperament of your joint problem, it is very important to make an accurate diagnosis. The best way to do this is with an MRI scan. It is very important to scan both joints at the same time, as often when you think you have a problem on one side, it is very often related to a problem which you've had on the other side. TMD physiotherapy is considered to be conservative care. This means before you have any invasive or irreversible treatments for TMD, you should try physiotherapy first. So what should you expect from a physiotherapist? Well, first make sure they have done some training in TMD, as this is not taught at undergraduate level. Then the specialist TMD physiotherapist would assess your face, head, neck and shoulder, and then devise a treatment plan that works for you. Treatments include low level laser, dry needling, TMJ mobilization, posture re-education, and spinal mobilizations. This treatment alongside splint therapy helps most TMD sufferers. So the vast majority of TMD that presents in primary care is related to muscle pain, what's called myofascial pain. This relates to the muscles of mastication, which are larger than the masseter, which attaches here, and the temporalis, which attaches in the temple here, or the jaw joint here. So a lot of the pain will be a dull pain over the lower jaw, just here, or upper jaw, just on the temple. This can be managed simply initially with muscle massage. That can also have added management with physiotherapy, where they stretch the muscles and manipulate them into a better position or injections of botulinum toxin, Botox, into the muscle in three spots on the, man, on the mandible and three spots on the temporalis, which relieves probably about 70 to 80% of people's myofascial pain. And don't forget about the brain. As a psychologist, I think the brain is a very important factor here because it's directly linked to muscle tension, which is directly linked to TMD. The brain has an area called the amygdala, which detects any threats in the environment, and it's also the area that trauma is held. It can carry many active triggers and causes stress, anxiety, and subsequent increased muscle tension. So if you look at where the temporomandibular joint is, it's actually very close to the ear canal. And if you take your little finger and put it in your ear and open your mouth, you'll be able to feel the joint itself. So that means that when we're talking about pain in the area of the TMJ, you want to be thinking about whether a problem in the outer or middle ear can be the cause of that pain. And similarly, when I see patients coming with ear pain, I want to be thinking about whether the temporomandibular joint might actually be the cause. So it's important to involve an ENT surgeon specialising in otology whenever you're thinking about that sort of possibility.